Intuition. Intuition's a funny word. Some of us think that only women have intuition. Uh, some people think that you have to be trained to uh, use your intuition. But the truth is, is all of us are born with intuition. All of us uh, have pretty equal amounts of access to our, intui our intuitive selves. Uh, if, you know, there are people that are more specialized, like into uh, intuitives, psychics, channelers. But the truth is they had a propensity. Like some people are really good with numbers and become accountants or work on the stock market. Some people are really good with empathy and listening. So perhaps they become psychologists. Um, and then some people are really good with feeling, uh, with being empathic to all that they feel with somebody or around. And so it's just a propensity. But what I do know is each and every one of us has a strong access to our intuition. And you know this, if you ever go somewhere and it feels weird and you want to leave, that's using your intuition. Uh, if you go somewhere and you just feel elated, that's your intuition. You're using your you're using your deep knowing sense to, to guide you, to talk to somebody, to not to talk to someone, to go somewhere, to not go somewhere. I mean, um, you hear a lot or have in the past women's intuition. And I think the intuition is equally as strong for men and women. Uh, women in the past have been more associated with feelings uh, men have been more associated with linear thinking. There's a bit of truth to that, but I don't like to make everything binary. So men and women have equally uh, equal strengths in using intuition as they do linear thinking. But what's important, you get a feeling, a gut feeling. That's your intuition speaking. So honor it. When you look at your closet and you really feel like wearing red today, wear it. If you really feel like wearing black today, wear it. You know, it's like your body is telling you, your intuition is telling you what feels right for you. So start there. If you feel like you want to do something and all of you is saying yes, that's your intuition. In fact, here's a great exercise. If you just close your eyes for a minute, and just notice how your body feels. And say to yourself, my name is, and say whatever your real name is. Just notice how your body feels. And then go ahead and say, my name is, and use a name from another gender. So if you're female, use a male name. If you're male, use a female name. And just notice how you feel. So an example of, what the, of this would be, it's like, my name is Demini. And I just notice how my body feels. And then I say, my name is Harry. And I notice how my body feels. So the more you learn how your body speaks to you, the more the very subtle movements or contractions or expansions of your body, you'll notice. And that's a great way to start learning how your intuition speaks to you.